A Tale of Spring Vanessa woke up specially happy that morning and glided in a winding flight to the garden where she spent most of her time. A nice dream the night before had given her a bright idea. She was the greatest and most beautiful of all the butterflies that live in the garden. Therefore, she deserved to be queen. This was announced to the insects that live in the place. For what reason, everyone asked. It is true that you are very beautiful. But here, we do not need any queen, said the box. Vanessa did not change her mind, quite the contrary. The next day, she had already convinced six large bumblebees to be her royal guard and decided As the queen that she was, that they all disappear from her sight and find another place to be. Queen Vanessa wanted the garden to herself. It's not fair, the bees said. The nectar of these flowers is very important for honeycomb. We will have to fly further and further to find other flowers. We were born in this sunflower. We like to live here, two little ladybugs said. This place is our home and it belongs to all of us said sadly and angrily the insects. But it was not a matter of facing the bumblebees, and so they had to go north, south, east and west looking for another place to live. You will regret Vanessa, said a green grasshopper. This garden is so beautiful because we all work day by day to keep it that way. Each little bug does its job and has a reason to be in this place. Queen Vanessa did not care. But if you order it, I wish you a happy rain. The sun was already setting. The flowers closed their petals to go to sleep. The garden was completely silent. And so it continued the next morning, only haunted by the appearance of some uninformed insect that the bumblebees were quick to scare away. Meanwhile, the beautiful queen flew lonely and bored, zigzagging among the flowers without anyone paying any attention to her. With time, Vanessa discovered that it was not so much fun owning the large lonely garden and thinking about it well she preferred the nectar of only one variety of flowers all 
the rest was left over. For their part, her bumblebee's guards had no one to chase. They became sluggish, lazy, and boredom made them fight among themselves. The garden that was once full of life and color began to change. It gradually faded. Nobody collected nectar from the flowers. There were no more legs or antennas that transferred pollen from one flower to another. The flowers diminished rapidly, and when the autumn passed, everything was barren and dry. Queen Vanessa realized her mistake and wept her regretful sorrow. One day she flew away and was never heard from again. Winter came with its ice cap and frost scarf, transforming the garden into a sad, lonely wasteland. But spring is a magic trick of nature, and when the sun's rays began to heat the earth after the long winter, everything started to sprout the birds made their nest there again. The bugs came back after hiding in their shelters. The garden was reborn in all its splendor and beauty again, full of life and color for everyone and with everyone's help for all that summer. <laughs>